Hello everybody, this is Mr. Wes Moore and welcome to the course e-commerce in which we learn a little bit about e-commerce and we also build a website. What I would like to do with you in this session is take you into Wix, our website building platform, and show you the uh, basic functionality of the editor and also walk through what we want to do with our home page and our menu, sort of the first uh, set of tasks that we have uh, in actually developing our website. By this time you should already have your mini business plan done, your website plan done, your logo and your catchphrase created. Uh, really what we're doing here is we're trying to learn how to use a template within Wix. We're not going to try and build something from scratch. We want to take one of their awesome templates and use it, uh, alter it, adjust it, improve it for our purposes. I'm going to have you all do the same site because it's, there are just too many options for the sites for me to be able to teach you. So we're going to work on the same site, the same kind of business, and by doing this you should learn a lot of things that you need to learn to do your own website for a business or whatever purpose you have. So let me change uh, the look here and let's get to this. Alright, so here we have the Wix platform. You see it's Wix.com here. Wix.com. I've done a number of sites on this platform. It's very easy to use. When you come to Wix you have to uh, sign up and get yourself a, an account, but once you do that, you can just do what I'm doing here. I'll walk through it kind of slowly, and we'll see what we can learn and figure out today. So here's a login. You can create your own site or log in. Sign up right there. There's where you sign up. I've already done that, so I'm going to log in. Now once I get logged in, it drops me into My Sites the sites that I have worked on and developed in the past and there are some of some of those I've just goofed off on some of those are actual sites but what we want to do here is we want to go up here and we want to create a new site create a new site click that blue button and then it's going to ask us what kind of site do we want to create we want to create a business site and then it gives us the option here of hiring someone to do our site for us or doing it ourselves. So obviously we want to do this, we want to use, learn how to use their templates. So let's do template. Now on here there are all kinds of sites. They have done a wonderful job of giving you just a tremendous number of options for all kinds of, of, of websites. So you can see here we've got business sites, health and wellness, you want to start a fashion site, travel and tourism, uh, restaurants, we've got online stores, uh, all kinds of photography, creative arts, and so on. We've got blogs here, which we go over in a different course. But what we're going to do is we'll just go up here and search, and we're going to type in carpenter. Carpenter. And this one we get right here called rafters. Rafters Carpentry Services. This is the one I want you to use. You could use any one of these, but I want you to focus on this one. Depending on how you search, this may or may not come up as the first one, so just keep that in mind. Rafters. So I'll hit Edit. When I hit Edit, it starts to open the interface for the editor. And their editor is very, very easy to use. Always this video pops up, so we'll just get rid of that. But here we have uh, the basic editor. We have a site here. We can see the home page of the site. We can see that when we hover over things we start to get boxes and texts and instructions and things like that. You can see these things popping up. These are all elements that are added in. Let me walk through a couple of the editor uh, key features. I'm not going to go through all of these because you just won't use all of these most of the time. As you play with the platform you will learn more about these. But essentially what you've got here is over here on this left hand side you've got uh, a set of options to, to do different things and you've got a menu bar at the top and some menu items over here. What I want to show you here is just a couple of them that you'll be using. You'll, you'll have menu and pages that you'll use and then you'll have this add button that you'll use. 
This is when you want to add something, a strip, which is what this main item here is with the big picture under uh, rafters. You might want to add an image. That will be very common. You may want to add a box. You may want to add a contact form. And then you can even add a store here or a blog. We're not going to go through all of those, but I just want you to see that that's where you're going to be adding things. And as I go through and as I edit this home page, you'll see me clicking on various uh, ones of these options. So let's get out of that. Up here at the top we have our Pages menu, which we can also get through here. But this is the quickest way to do it. When you click down here, you'll see all the pages that are already set up in this website. Now we're going to get rid of a number of these because we're going to basically just pare this thing down to a basic site that we want to build. But this is your pages and this is your manage pages. This is where we'll go to uh, edit the menu here and to add or take out pages. This, this button here is when you're looking at a desktop and here's when you switch to mobile to edit your site in mobile. I'll click that now. We will do this at a separate session and you can get to know your site there if you just want to click let's go. But essentially here what we do is we can edit this site as a mobile site. We're not going to worry about that now. That will be in another session. Let me go back to this. Most of this stuff here you're not going to use very much, so I'm not going to spend much time on it. Over here you have the undo and the redo. Those are always uh, helpful. Save it. And then this item is preview. You want to hit save very often as you work through it. Preview. If you hit preview, you can sort of see it without all the lines. And you can kind of get a sense of what it's going to look like. Then you click back to editor to get back in. And then we have Publish. When you finish up your draft, you will publish it. Uh, I will show you how to do that a little bit later. It's, it's very easy. But you publish it, and it's free. And it will basically just put it in with a Wix.com sort of uh, address. And then you'll copy that page address and send it to me in a Word file in D2L. And then we'll look at, you know, I'll look at it and grade it from there. One other thing I'll show you is this right here. This can be a helpful little piece, too is I click on something, like this is an image. This highlights and allows me to do various things. Copy, duplicate, trash, arrange. This allows me to put things in front of or behind other things. Align. I can take two or three items and align them straight up and down or left and right, horizontally, whatever. This gives me the size and pixels of that image. and This gives me the position on the page. And this allows me to show it on every page or not. So well, again, we're not going to go into great detail on that, but I just want you to see all the things that you can do. Now let's go ahead. I'm going to transition now to actually editing this page. I want to show you what I want you to do, and you will sort of follow in my footsteps. You will, of course, develop your own logo, your own name, your own catchphrase or slogan, and your own text and images for your site. So your site will be different than mine. Uh, don't copy what I've done here. It's not intended for you to copy. I want you to develop your own stuff and then put it in. Now what I want to do first here is I, this, this is the logo for this template site and then this is a name and a catchphrase here or slogan. What I want to do now is I want to bring in um, my logo and then I want to continue to use this text here, but I just don't want this rafters piece in it. So what I'll do here is I'll just click on image, and I can say change image here. I can delete the image and go over here and say add image, and go to my image uploads. That's one way to do it. Or I can just hit this and say change. So I'm going to do that. Now I don't have any files in here in this site. So one of the tasks that you'll have in the course earlier on is to get some of your own media. All right. So we can search for media. Let's search here for Carpenter. And you see I've got all these images that come up that I can use. Now I'm not going to use these now because I'm going to go to my logo, which I have saved on my own computer. 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring up, and you've already done this, but this is, this is the file that I have saved for my CC Tech classes for all my images that I have already found for this site. Now here's my carpentry logo. So I'm going to take that carpentry logo and I'm just going to drop it in. Now because we created this for free, it is very uh, limited. It's, it's very pixelated and it's kind of small. Well, let's just say choose image. There it is. Choose image and it drops it in. Now I want this to be a little bit bigger so I'm going to take this and I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. Again, because we created it for free, we didn't pay for it, it's not that big. Now I'm going to set that about right there. In just a moment I'm going to change this background to something that's lighter so you can see that a little better. Now let me show you this. You see this is selected. If I want to edit it, crop means to cut. See it's a little bit big. Now you could leave it like that or you could hit crop and then you can just take it and drag it down like this and go down here and drag it up like that and hit the check mark and now it's all pretty for you okay so I like that let me make it just a little bit bigger I want to keep it centered now rafters uh, that that's the logo that's the company name that I decided and that's the uh, logo that I created on the free website that I showed you earlier in the course now I want to go in here and I want to put my uh, my slogan or catchphrase and I don't want to uh, use their words here and my let's see here I'm trying to remember my catchphrase yes my catchphrase is when details matter. And what I'm trying to do here is play on the idea of perfection when details matter. I'm trying to create a brand that demonstrates that I am uh, very professional, very attentive to detail, and I get the little things right. I'm going to do a tremendous job for you with by making your uh, project absolutely perfect. So here I, when I go in here, I click in, I double click in and I can start to edit but you notice that we've got a box over here and this is all where you text you edit your text and I'm just going to show you right now I'm going to show you is the size that's a little bit big so I want to drop it down to something like that and I'll hit X and I just click out of it now I've got when details matter perfection carpentry and let's make this just a hair bigger okay now I've got my logo in and my catchphrase in. These are things that you will have to do as a part of yours. Now what about this image behind here, this main graphic image here? If I click on that, it's a strip. You know, there are various strips. This is a strip here. When I click on this, it's a strip. It goes across. And this strip has a gallery in it. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But this strip here, if I want to change the strip background, I want to change the picture. So I'll hit change strip picture. All right. Now they, they're giving me some options over here, but I don't like any of those. I want to go to image. This allows me to get to my own images. Now again, I can search here. Like let's look for some. I'm looking for something that's like a, a light colored wood grain. And I'm flipping through here and I really don't see that. Maybe that. Let's try this and see what happens. I, I like that. I've got another one saved, but let's see what that looks like. And it changed it. Now, I, that one's pretty good, but I don't really like that one too much. So let's go back to image. And let's, uh, let's just X that. And then let's go here to site files. So I don't want to look at their images. I want to look at mine. That's the site files. You remember that before. Now all I've got in there is that right now. But I went to another site and I'll show you that site here in just a moment. And I found a new home, what I called a home page main image. That's the strip image that I want. So I'm going to take that now and I'm going to drop it over here. So there, I, I kind of like that when I found it. Now let me show you where I got the, uh, this image and where you can get other images. If you can't find images in uh, from Wix, 
they'll let you buy them from shutter uh, stock but you don't want to buy and they'll take you to a, a website called unsplash there an unsplash is a free site that you can use their their images royalty free in other words you don't have to pay for them they're not always the best but there they are so I looked for carpenter here and I found a bunch of them you can download them save them and then put them up to Wix but there are a couple of others I want to make you aware of one's called Pixabay Pixabay and Pixabay is great they have a lot more in my experience they have a lot more photos than Unsplash does so we've got all these great photos here that you could use and then there's a third one and it's called Pexels P-E-X-E-L-S Pexels and here is where I got one of my furniture images that I'll show you here in a little bit I, I don't see it on here right now I think right there I used that one so just keep in mind that you've got Pexels you've got Pixabay and you've got Unsplash to get images from so let's go back to our editor there we go let's change the background now I've got mine selected that's the one that I'd already found on one of the sites I changed the background now I like that now if you notice here there's a little bit dark behind dark grain behind this logo so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this logo up to the lighter area I'm going to move this up and then I'm going to go here to the strip and there's this little uh, anchor sort of and then I'm going to move this like that and shorten it up a little bit see that this is the kind of thing that you'll need to do to make your site look good nothing is fixed in this you can change anything you want that little handle there allows you to make it bigger or make it smaller now I like that right there because that's sort of in the middle alright now let's go through here and let's sort of clean this up after you do that and get your image right I want you to clean it up a little bit there are a number of things that we're going to get out of just pull out of this template here we've got a login bar all you've got to do here is you can right click and delete it or you can just hit the delete button let's get rid of that because we don't want that that's a a separate thing to log for customers to log in you see this chat box here let's delete the chat box again we could do that down the road but we don't want to do that now and then we get down here we're going to we're going to change this in a moment but let's go down here let's get rid of the booking button because we're not going to allow bookings yet and then if you notice I've got a spot here so I can hit this strip and I can drag this up make it look nice and neat then when I go down here I need to look at this text here let's look at this for a moment just double click in it and then I'm going to do I changed this to instead of looking for a carpenter I changed this to need to discuss your project and then you hit the return key there I wanted to change that text and down here so we clean that up and then down here Rafters isn't the name of our company is it so I'm going to delete that and delete I'm going to I'll notice what I did there I'll show you what I did I clicked it then I held down the shift key and clicked another one and I can group those and hold those together what I'm doing here is I'm just going to delete them and then I'm going to add my logo here so let's go to add image my image uploads there's my logo add to the page well it wanted to put it in the wrong spot let's uh, let's undo that all right let's see what I can do here I'll come back to that in a second let me let me chew on that but right here let's change this to 2021 by perfection carpentry and we're not going to we're going to take the Wix stuff out we don't want Wix being in there and in a minute I'll see if I can remember how to put that logo in uh, not sure why it was doing that but at any rate all right so let's go back up here now let's go ahead and fix some of this text rafters carpentry service well that's not it I'm just going to put perfection carpentry 
Now for my text over here, you will have already created this. I've got some text that I want to add and this is just going to tell you what to put in there. You want a short paragraph about your business to introduce and then in here I want to change this to, to my services. My services are going to be custom bookshelves, tables, and chairs. Decorative mold. I have to sound these out to make sure I'm typing them correctly. And then I wanted to put design and installation here. Now let's just delete the rest of this. Okay, those are my services. Let's uh, pull that down just a hair, make it look good. And then here I clicked on this, so now I can come up a little bit if I want to. All right, so I've got my logo and my catchphrase. I've got my introductory information. Look at what we're doing. We're just going through and editing what's already in here. All right. Now, I'm not going to ask you to change these images. All right. Don't worry about that. That's a gallery. Let's just leave that there for now. But what I do want you to do is change these three things. These are your differentiators, and this is what you had to specify earlier in the course. These are the things that fit in with your brand. Um, see, I'm focusing on perfection. I'm focusing on details. All right. So I want to come down here and I want to put in some terms that further uh, communicate my brand. Highest craftsmanship. See, even when I sound it out, I get it wrong. And then beauty and functionality. So I'm using these three terms here to sort of introduce the idea of my, uh, my brand again. This is what I'm focused on. You see how these things keep coming up. All right. And in this paragraph, you would want to indicate some of the things that you do and some of your um, some of your brand issues. Let's go down here and let's see one more time. Let me take a second. Why? I'm just goofing off here to try and see. There you go. All right, so it looked like I had to just play around with that a little bit. It's asking me to save it, so I'm going to go ahead and save it. I should have been doing that already. We're going to change the name in a moment. Let's not worry about that. That here is my... Sorry about that. That'll keep coming up. Here is my logo. I'm going to come up here and click that one. I'll just hit the delete key. I'll come down here. You remember what you do to make it smaller? Let's crop it. Like that, make it a little smaller, click out of it, and then slide it over. Now that logo is a little big, so let's slide this down. Let's slide this over like that, and then let's move that Facebook bar down. Okay? So now we've almost done. We've almost got, see how we've cleaned that up? It looks great. Now before we finish, let me show you how to publish this so that it can be graded. You hit the publish button here, the blue button at the top corner and it publishes it. Now it'll give you some other uh, designation here than mine, but it's saying it, your site is published and live online. But you notice it's a wix.com slash my site uh, URL, which is fine. So in order for you to see it, you just hit view site, then it pulls it up, and then what I want you to do is right click in here and copy this, put it in a Word document, and turn that Word document in, and then I can pull the site up. Be very careful to double and triple check this, because I've had students before turn in uh, links that I could not get to. Make sure that it's the full site name like that, so that I can see it, and you can get graded. All right, so hopefully uh, that's been helpful for you.
send me an email if you have any questions, and uh, good luck with your website. Have a great day.